Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center, this is ABC 7 News at 6. On your side. People who suffer from epileptic seizures never quite know when they are going to go into seizure and lose consciousness. It, uh, it is a debilitating condition, and medication doesn't control the seizures for many patients. Our medical reporter, Kathy Fowler, is in the newsroom live. Kathy, there is a new solution? That's right. Um, a different a surgery, and this type of surgery has actually been around for decades, but it was only used as a last resort because it was too risky to operate on the brain. But not anymore. With advanced technology and better techniques, doctors can stop seizures for thousands of patients who had no hope before. Until today, Rosinda Rodriguez has never seen what happens to him during one of his epileptic seizures. <laughs> but this was a medically controlled seizure. Rosinda has suffered with seizures, losing all awareness for eight years. It's the first time I saw, the, I saw this. Neurologists at Georgetown University Hospital took Rosendo off his medication to bring on several seizures. But before they did that, they surgically mapped his brain using these electrodes. Right on the brain, underneath uh, the skull. Doctors pinpointed the exact part of the brain that causes the seizures so they can surgically remove it and stop all future seizures. But doctors also have to map the part of the brain that controls language and motor skills. It's a crucial step to make sure they don't take out the part of the brain Rosinda needs. We don't want to take out the seizure focus and make the patient paralyzed or make them mute. Um, especially language and motor skills are important. Okay, how are you doing? Como esta? What made this even more difficult is that Rosindo speaks Spanish. ¿Cómo se llama eso? So an interpreter had to be present to make sure Rosinda's language was not affected. For Rosindo, this surgery worked immediately. He hasn't had one seizure since he had the procedure eight months ago. He says it's given him his life back. Big difference. So is why now I'm happy because I'm better, much, much better. Now, after one year of not responding to medication, patients should look into this surgery to see if they are a candidate. For more information, log on to our website at WJLA.com. Reporting from the newsroom, Kathy Fowler, ABC 7 News.